Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I want to start this one off with a question to to all of y'all out there that, that watch, uh, and that is, uh, what is it that you guys specifically like to see? Um, is it uh, the details in all the uh, the setups, or do you just guys like to see a generalized overview, or just if you guys like to watch um, as we put stuff together, uh, like this little thing, you know, that we're getting ready to talk about. Do you want to see me actually build it and put it together? Or would you like to just see the finished project? I feel a lot of times watching the build stuff, it, it takes so long just to watch that. And it's just, you know, uh, a long, a long piece of content. Whereas if you go with the overview, you know, you guys don't have to sit through 20 minutes of watching me put something together that, you know, you could just take about 30 seconds just to kind of see what it looks like. Um, but let me know uh, what you guys uh, like and any improvements like you uh, think I could do to the channel. Um, stuff that I could do differently, maybe different views or, um, you know, just any suggestions you guys have. I'd really like to know because uh, uh, not only is this for me, for my uh, personal documentation but it's for you guys as well so uh, if you guys want to see anything different or you know any uh, have any improvements for me just uh, just let me know so this is my DIY portable power station it is one of my original little builds that I did I also use this as a test rig for solar panels whenever I was uh, researching some solar panels to buy uh, we bought uh, a couple of uh, different 200 watt solar panels and I wanted to see what the output was. So obviously everybody knows the Victron um, charge controllers, the ones that come Bluetooth. You know, you can see everything uh, with the uh, Bluetooth app, which is really kind of nice. So uh, that was the biggest reason for wanting to get one of the, this little Victron one. Um, also it's MPPT, so it's very efficient. Um, so I wanted to uh, use something that I knew would uh, actually do well with solar panels. So, and you can see um, using the app that uh, it would show how many watts we're getting, um, you know, the current voltage, um, as well as the current uh, whenever we were uh, hooking them up to solar panels. So um, that's why I chose this uh, Victron for that. I think it's a really good one for that. Um, it was a little expensive, you know, compared to the rest of the system, but it worked really well for what I wanted to use. So then I also have this, it's uh, a Wagita, I think it's called, a uh, battery. It's uh, like the uh, lie time or whatever, you know, the flavor of the month is as far as the names go, but it's basically this Chins battery. Uh, it's a 20 amp hour battery, you know, 12 volt, 20 amp hour battery. So uh, it's not going to last very long, but I really just wanted it for test purposes uh, to hook up with this guy. And so um, what I did was I took the charge controller and just basically zip tied it to the uh, to the battery. And then that way it could uh, charge the battery. And then for me to drain it, I put this uh, small... Um, modified sine wave inverter on here um, and I would just run a heater off of it or something just to, to drain it. I've had this little inverter um, it's a 300 watt inverter and I've had this inverter probably 20 years. <laughs> I bought it a long time ago to plug into the car while we were traveling so I could keep my computer charged um, during uh, during those times that I was traveling back and forth from North Carolina to Texas uh, in the vehicle so that uh, I would have something to, you know, keep my uh, computer charged and a few other things charged um, through here. Um, and it worked just fine for that. Uh, I would have it just plugged in and charged because back then, you know, batteries didn't last very long in laptops. Um, and it worked great for that, but it still works. It still runs. Um, we can power it on and see, you know, it works just fine. So, oh, there's a fault. Interesting. Oh, no, it's not a fault. Um, but you can see it works fine. And so with this little rig, I'll hook up a solar panel to it. I just have these quick uh, spade connectors. I'll hook up a solar panel to it, and then I'll check the uh, wattage output on the phone and just kind of watch what it does in good sun, moving them around. And I can see real time what the uh, MPPT uh, charge controller will show as far as the wattage output. 
So I took all these things and you can see all it is is just zip tied together. The inverter is hooked into the battery with the little ring terminals and then the uh, battery is hooked into the charge controller with ring terminals. And this is just some 12 gauge THHN wire. And then I ran the same 12 gauge THHN HN wire just to these little spade terminals. And then um, I've got a, uh, I don't have it with me but I have a little uh, connector for uh, MC4 connectors that I run off that just so I can uh, pop it off and on pretty quickly. You know, I know those MC4 connectors are quick, but I didn't have that at the time. So now that I have this, um, I could probably go ahead and switch it out to some MC4 connectors, but it works fine for what I'm using. You can see it's been sitting outside a lot testing things, but uh, the whole thing isn't very heavy. I mean, it's probably... 10 pounds um, it's really not that heavy at all so you can tote it around uh, when we did have a uh, power outage uh, there was a storm and um, we had a power outage I actually took this inside it was already charged I took this inside and had it run uh, I can't remember if it was the TV maybe it wasn't the TV but I had something running for the kids so that they could do some stuff and it worked great for that I mean it's not gonna last very long because of the battery but you know it's really a portable power station that you can build pretty cheap and easy uh, on your own um, which is really nice it was super simple to put together everything's like I said there's two zip ties you can see there's two zip ties holding this thing together so um, you can tote it around pretty easily I just usually would grab it by the zip ties I'll grab it by the zip ties as you can see it'll those zip ties are enough and these aren't even like those really thick zip ties either so it worked pretty well I just wanted to grab those cables real quick and you can see all I did was put some spade connectors to this and they're the ones that are not exposed so they're, they cover each other um, so you don't have any exposed connectors there um, just because they're going back and forth like this I didn't want them touching uh, and shorting out so I used the ones that are covered and then just MC4 connectors on the other end so um, really quick and simple way of having it hook up to the uh, to the charge controller there but yeah, I just wanted to show everybody like there's a super simple way of making a charge controller uh, hook up to a battery and hook up to an inverter. It doesn't have to be big and extravagant. And then I believe this thing is, it's the 20 amp hour. So that's 256 watt hours that uh, you can run off of this. Uh, and what if it's plugged into a single, single solar panel, I mean, you could run something small off of this for, for days. Um, the inverter that I have, like I said, it's only a 300 watt inverter, so it's not going to run very big loads, but it'll run things that, uh, that you need at the very least. I mean, people use those portable power stations that are hundreds of dollars to charge their cell phones and their iPads and things like that. And it'll certainly do that. So, um, it's just, you know, a really basic system that is easy to put together. And I just wanted to show you guys, it's not that hard to build your own portable this is truly portable power station so i hope you guys like the content and uh if you guys have any suggestions like i said uh, please let me know i'd love to know what you guys want to see or want to want to look at or have questions about so uh, just leave those uh, questions in the uh, comments below and uh, you guys stay safe and have a great day